Hello, my name is Renat. I'm going to show you how we can use uh, our new components to integrate talent jobs within the talent ESB. So I have here a um, milestone release of talent, which was released last week, which is 4.2.0 M4. And I'm just going to show you how we can create a simple web service and run it within two minutes. So we're creating a job. Then within this job, we are going to use uh, new components, which are located under the ESB uh, tab in Palette. We will take two implemented providers. We will take the TSB provider request and TSB provider response. And in between, we will just put something to to print it out, so we'll take T log component, which we all know from normal talent uh, jobs. So now we'll just connect them. Save it and run it. So we just have a look inside our standard output, and here we can see the web service endpoint is published. So I'm just going to copy this endpoint, and I will go to my SOAP UI, which is a, a tool just for, very very nice for navigation and inspection and play, playing with the web services, and we're going to create a new project with uh, WSDL out of the service. one request here which we are going to send and here we have our job input so the job input will say something like hello hello tenant job and as you can see our web service is responding and it's basically responding with exactly the same information we send to it, which is actually an implementation of simple echo web service. So this web service will start a provider, will take what we will give it to him, and then it will send the same structure back. One important point to note here that our job is done now. Because for our provider component, we haven't set the keep listening flag here. And if we are going to set it, then after processing one request, our provider will keep listening for new requests, which I can show here. So I set the keep listening text, and I'll start it now. And uh, now I can go to my SOAP UI and send the response. And here we can see that the responses are still accepting. So you see, we are specifying a different input, and we are getting the same output. And you can see here already we have a small statistic. We sent three requests and we have three rows here. And we have three rows going out. Another advantage and a very important point here to note also that our ESB provider request and ESB provider response component, just like any other ESB components we have here, they are working together with a new document node in the schema. So as you can see here, inside this component, we have a schema, which is actually an XML document, and not only a simple string or, or simple integers or so. This is a new feature for Tenant 4.2, and uh, it's a topic for the different screencasts for now. But that's generally it. This is how you can simply create a web service Underneath, it is powered by Apache CXF, and uh, you can use it in your talent jobs. That's it. Thank you very much. And uh, try it, you can try just the downloading the 
latest version from Talent, which is the latest, latest MySML. 